I'm Phyllis. I live in my van. It's not hard to go to the bathroom in a van. It's a two-step system. The first one, or there's number one and number two. Number one is you pee in a bottle, and number two, you poop in a bucket. If you're a boy, you just put your little faucet in the bottle and you're good to go. For ladies, um, we use a funnel. I use a pee style that's um, one that I heard about on another YouTuber's channel called The Galavan. And I've been very happy with it and I recommend it. I'm gonna put a link to it in the description. But there are other funnels on the market that I think probably work the same way. Um, not sure how descriptive to be. It, ladies, if you have questions about how to use the pea style or another funnel, uh, feel free to uh, put a comment and I'd be happy to answer your questions. I would recommend that you try it first, um, maybe outside or maybe not in your van because uh, until you get the hang of it, you might have, you know, might not be such a optimal outcome. So I'll show you my bottle and funnel and my bucket. My bucket, I'm sure you've seen other, other YouTubers videos. It's a standard bucket with a toilet seat and I use two plastic bags and I like to put a little kitty litter in the bottom but then uh, I'll use a uh, hamster bedding between each layer layer meaning uses if you don't want to store the poop in your van you can throw each bag away or the bags away after you use it um, I started out that way and I go to the bathroom more than once a day, so it was too much. And I I will uh, use the same bag for several days and it does not smell. If you use, if you have a bucket with a good tight fitting toilet seat lid and you use the bedding and it's inside of a box like mine is, which you'll see, and mine's covered up with a cushion. I have never had a problem with odor at all. As long as you don't get urine in, in your bucket. And that's the trick to going to the bathroom in your van is separating the urine from the poop. I even uh, had my son in my van. I picked him up from college and I'd promised him that I would empty out my my poop bucket before I picked him up, but I didn't, because he did not believe me that it would not smell. And he sat on that cushion right on top of the poop bucket, and a half an hour later I told him that there was in fact poop in that bucket, and he said I did not smell it at all. So you can manage it, it's not a big deal. I know it seems like a big deal if you've never pooped in a bucket or ladies, if you've never peed in a bottle, but it's, it's one of the least problems that I've had in my van since I've been living in it. And if I can do it, you can do it. So thanks for joining me. So this is my setup for number one. I've got, there's a bottle right there and uh there's my funnel it's a pea style there's several different funnels on the market but that's the one i heard about first and uh it works really well for me okay i'm going to show you my bucket setup there's my little sofa and under that right section is my bucket so to get to my bucket I just have to move this cushion and this cushion. Sorry for the awkward video. So then you can see there's just a little lid there on a hinge. 
And there's my bucket. I've had this bucket for probably 20 years. I had been an avid camper before I started my van life. Just to the right of the bucket there is a bag of cat litter. And then there's my toilet paper. And then back there is a bag of uh, hamster bedding, small animal bedding. So this is just a bucket with a, a lid with a toilet seat. You know, I just emptied it. So I'll show you, I've just got a little cat litter on the inside and two plastic bags. And when the lid shut and that is down and the cushions on, you don't smell anything. I promise you don't smell anything.